a Senate Judiciary Committee report released Saturday revealed that committee investigators interviewed a man who described a sexual encounter with Christine Blasey Ford that shared similarities to the one she claimed she had with Supreme Court Brett Kavanaugh. According to the report, a man, whose name is redacted, told committee investigators in an interview on September 26, 2018, that when he was a 19-year-old college student, he had visited D.C. over spring break and kissed a girl he believes was Christine Blasey Ford, according to the report. He said that the kiss happened in the bedroom of a house which was about a 15 to 20 minute walk from the Van Ness Metro, that Dr. Ford was wearing a swimsuit under her clothing, and that the kissing ended when a friend jumped on them as a joke. Redacted, said that the woman initiated the kissing and that he did not force himself on her. The man's description of his encounter with Ford is similar to the one Ford alleged she had with Kavanaugh on three ways. Second, the man said Ford was wearing a swimsuit underneath her clothing, which Ford claimed was also the case in the Kavanaugh incident. Ford's detail of wearing a one piece bathing suit was so specific that Bustle recently dedicated a post to it titled, I Can't Stop Thinking About Dr. Christine Blasey Ford's One Piece Swimsuit. Third, the man said the kissing between him and Ford ended when a friend jumped on them as a joke. Ford claimed that with Kavanaugh, his friend Mark Judge had jumped on them, allowing her to escape. Ford first publicly spoke about her allegations against Kavanaugh to The Washington Post on September 16, 2018, including the detail about wearing a one-piece bathing suit underneath her clothing. According to The Post, speaking publicly for the first time, Ford said that one summer in the early 1980s, Kavanaugh and a friend, both stumbling drunk, Ford alleges, corralled her into a bedroom during a gathering of teenagers at a house in Montgomery County. The report also revealed the committee has recommended charges against one accuser, Julie Swetnick, her lawyer Michael Avenatti, a man in Rhode Island, and a woman who claimed to have submitted an anonymous letter accusing Kavanaugh of rape, for knowingly providing materially false statements and obstruction of a congressional investigation. In addition, the committee is investigating whether a friend of Ford and former FBI official Monica McLean, had tried to tamper with witness testimony by trying to persuade another friend of Ford, Leland Kaiser, to change her testimony.